www.tradethenbia.com. This is John's reports for the 24th. Well, we had a nice uh, retrace move, and like I said, it doesn't take much for it to fill back in. Of course, buyers came in late and pulled it right back up to the ABM yellow. So it was uh, fairly clean, and that's short-term buyers did it right here. You get the steel started to rise. That was all it took to uh, hold it in place. I mean, we're still getting now a full complete reset. Uh, the question mark here will be now that we've dipped below in the power mode too, we've got below the red line on the uh, ES as well. Uh, does that cross over and give us a broader sell signal? So the attempt is going to be to try and move back up and if that starts to fail, I think you'll see a lot more people uh, easing out. The problem we've got basically though for most people is they've got to start buying back into it anyway because there's nowhere else to go. I mean, it's sort of a forced uh, situation um, that we've held the 50% right here on the NASDAQ uh, not a surprise we expected to come back down uh, to retest those uh, lows from the previous one and that's what I said it doesn't take much to you know wipe out an entire month in just a couple of days worked out just right gold while it's starting to build its base we could no steel uh, reset from that but we did have the uh, dip here that came back to the zero and pop back up so it was as soon as the orange came in at a reasonable point it's just got to maintain itself uh shake out is above the negative 13 so um, there are positive signs there for the commodity of course the euro maintaining its elevated status because you're still talking about their 1.9 trillion dollar stimulus the us the bitcoin came all the way back filled our positive extremes Caught some basing action. No reset though uh, from within that. So this was pretty much just a fairly decent uh, return pop. It's sort of like that 50% uh, retracing came right back to the previous algo level, right at 55. So it came down to the, the lower one, went right back up to the other. Uh, pretty clean action from there. What a mess this is. Now, I didn't add any lines. These are all previous. Uh, lines from before and so it makes it uh, kind of a busy mess but needless to say the goosey spread short filled in um, pretty decent buy coming off that orange uh, setup right there the problem was you ended up with that uh, orange rising steel cross this was a little bit softer one probably a little too early from that uh, pop-up but uh, each time we came and uh, the steel went back above and orange down started to fade and that was just before the gold started to rise and so at this point when it got into that uh, weak mode with the selling even with the uh, gold rising it just continued to uh, maintain that trend and that drove us all the way down and we really didn't get a reset until uh, well right over here when we started to get that uh, orange dip with the green cross uh, after having had the dip below the uh, sign and then back above, it was still a little bit weak from that standpoint. It was a little bit stronger by the time uh, we came over to uh, the secondary dip that was right here. And that one really was uh, much stronger, though it maintained itself. And of course, we're on previous algo levels uh, pretty clearly from before. That brought us all the way back up before retracing all the way back again. Um, we had positive extremes that started just in between. Came back all the way down to the 0% mark, based for a while. We had that perfect setup. This one should have started out strong, had a little bit of softness, um, produced a much stronger with the green crossing above with the orange dip, and that led to the power move uh, that brought us all the way back up. We had a lot of cyan under red, which was always within that buy configuration on that uh, rising gold. And then by the time we came to this uh, DOC spread, uh, you were in some pretty hefty extreme areas. The gold had already rolled over, the azure had met, as well as the blue all met. And so when that came through, uh, pretty decent read from that standpoint. And that just brought us right back down to the just 50%, little draft through below. Steel dips below the zero, comes back up orange, Dropping down, that was enough for a spike, produced another DOC spread, and puts us where we are in the aftermarket. Just going to expand that a little bit right now. 
of the dip to zero below, coming back, and then it was just a matter of waiting for that orange to pop underneath. So did the break there, so from the open here, it was pretty clean, and shakeout had um, not been too low, so that was uh, pretty reasonable from that standpoint, and that's given us this rise, none of it on positive uh, extremes, so uh, healthy move overall from uh, that retrace level, but uh, filling in all these previous levels, I'll probably start erasing some of those just because it gets too busy when we get back down there. And, We'll go off new ones uh, that pop in. It's just I wanted to show it because a lot of these are just, you know, from previous areas. doesn't mean that they uh, eliminate them. The computer just regenerates uh, off of those existing ones and uh, keeps going from there. So, good action. Um, these ranges are phenomenal. Uh, can't complain about that volatility. It uh, is beautiful and it's within uh, what we were looking for from an expectation standpoint. So... No complaints. Just keep at it. As always, though, I will put anything relevant on the Skype chat. Trade well. We'll talk to you later.